it's a blast. People have fun here. <laughs> fun is literally flying through the air at Flight Club in Boston Seaport neighborhood. You're using real steel tip darts, real dartboard, but there's three cameras that are above each Aki that track the darts for you with some high-tech cameras that pinpoint exactly where your dart hits the dartboard. Brooke Collinson is the general manager. It's very user-friendly. You don't need to keep score of anything. They make it as easy as possible. Keeping score might be easy, but getting a score worth keeping is another story. So we enlisted the help of games master Bobby Olson. I want you to think of me as your wingman in the art of dart. Once you've taken the perfect profile picture, it's time to choose from one of six unique social dart games. A favorite of mine is because it's for all skill levels. We gotta jump in with a little demolition. Throw dart at board, number subtract down to zero, get zero, win. The back Aki. Next, pro pick how close you wanna be to the board when you throw. There's the pro line, regular, or the rookie. We don't rook shame here, fam. That's Get me. up in here. Now it's time to just give it your best shot. Oh, I wanted that triple. That's a big nothing burger. If you need some fuel to fire up your game, there's plenty on the menu to choose from. We do have the Viper Fries, which has a snake bite seasoning on it and our own signature Flight Club dipping sauce, which is to die for. Yum. Ooh, little kick. See why that guy's smiling. In keeping with the club's circus theme and decor. Cheers. <laughs> There's cotton candy for dessert. That theme continues at the bar with a wild cocktail list. The tequila infused toucan topped with our favorite number. If you get a two, we go to showdown. My new second favorite number is two. She did it! Oh my god! <laughs> yes, the student has become the teacher. For Craig Panzer and Luis Espinoza, their winning shot actually happened while watching others score. We were on the sidelines of our kids' community soccer team in Jamaica Plain. You know, you watch your kids play, and you get to meet people, parents, families, on the sidelines. So Luis and I got to meet each other as fathers, talking about our kids, and from there, learning more about each other. We connected right away. It was like a, something magical happened between us. At the time, Espinoza was a chef who brewed beer at home for fun. Panzer was working in the food industry. Beer's always been something that I'm passionate about. As a cook, know all these uh, aspects of the flavors in the, in the plate. It's interesting how we can add it into the beer, kind of like a salt and pepper. That's a food. Over time, their shared interests started brewing into something bigger. And in October 2022, they opened Roundhead Brewing Company in Hyde Park, Boston's first Latino-owned brewery. It's very really important for me to bring all the cultures that we have and uh, represent as our first Latino brewery. It's, it's huge. So this red ale is brewed with a purple corn. We call it Chimu. It's a culture in Peru. Very rich, multi notes with caramel and toffee. In addition to more than a dozen brewed blends, Roundhead also serves unique and savory pizzas. One of them is a we call pork belly or smoke belly, which is a sweet potato puree in the bottom, pork belly on top, pickled onions and yellow pepper sauce. For dessert, there are churros with dulce de leche drizzled on top. I try to put a lot of Latino influence in the beer, in the food, and everything else. I think it's important. The brewery is housed in an old powerhouse for the Sturdivant factory built in 1903 and once the largest industrial fan manufacturer in the world. There's something about the openness in this space that is where you'll find often a full house of people watching a game together, playing ping pong, playing skee ball, hoops, and we also have a pinball machine up in the mezzanine. That fun, friendly, and familiar feeling is what draws neighbors here to become not only patrons, but also employees. Hyde Park is a small, small community, and um, I felt that that's what they were bringing back in, a sense of belonging and family here in our community. The um, mission of Brownhead Brewing is Cerveza Que Darune, beer that brings people together. Beer is a starting point, but it's a time we spend together, the relationships that we build, that's what it's about for us. And community plays a huge role at Roundhead Brewing. During the pandemic, they raised $100,000 from 274 local families who each invested an average of about $300 in the business. 
Roundhead also makes a non-alcoholic brew, chicha, which is a Peruvian corn drink. And back to Flight Club, a typical game will last about an hour and a half. If you're looking to play with a group, the space can fit groups as big as 400 people. <laughs> Still to come, a nightcap. <laughs>